A homeless man who has been taking has been taken into custody after repeatedly writing and delivering a series of disturbing letters to you yes, you guessed it, the Queen of Disturbia, Rihanna, her apartment in New York City. The fifty three year old Kevin McLaughlin, um, or McGlenn, excuse me, um, is a homeless man with a history of trespassing, um, is being held without bail after he was obsessed on a video, and you know, he was seen, he's obsessed with Rihanna and seen on a video surveillance leaving letters for the pop icon. Um, police got a hold of him after he dropped off his letter um, in front of Rihanna's apartment. And, you know, now he is behind bars. Uh, you know, and it's, it's one of those things where, I mean, you know, people take stocking to an all new level sometimes. And I get it, you like her. Um, or whatever, but, you know, come on, there's a line. But with that being said, in his defense, I'm playing both sides here. Within his defense, he is homeless and he appears to be mentally unstable. So while it's certainly creepy and scary, um, anything short of psychiatric support is probably not going to solve the situation that he has. Which is why, you know, and this is what our, our correction system should do. If folks like him who have clearly committed crimes, clearly Rihanna and her people feel uncomfortable, you know, so let's take him in, instead of just locking him behind bars and treating him like a zoo animal, let's really work on rehabilitating him and seeing if we could give him the psychological and the psychiatric help he needs and support that he needs to make sure he doesn't go back out on the street and go stock, you know, Beyonce next, right? And, that, and, and I think that's what, need, that's what we need in this country. We need a rehabilitation system and a correction system that actually corrects and not just jails. But I know I'm on my high horse, I know I'm preaching to the choir, because you guys are on my side on this one, right? I hope you are.